Oh, look at this little beauty. Just soaking it in some vinegar. I'm gonna work on getting this rust off here. This is the handle that was on it. It's just a shorty and it fits in either end. Overall length is just under 11 inches. This is what I meant when I said it fits in both ends. Right now it's set up for a right hand axe and the head's not tapered at all. So there you go, now it's left hand. And that shorty handle, I think I'm gonna make one about the same size. I think it's very handy. You can really see where the hardened steel starts here. And it's as well, it's on the back as well, you can see it. There you go, right there. So what we're gonna do here is I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna make, or I'm gonna set this guy up for a right-handed. The handle, I would love to reuse it, but there's a chunk out of it, so it's not gonna work. Look at the head shape of a hewing ax. Look at that. And then, here's the other side. It's got that chisel profile, although this one has a bit of a bevel on this side. I might take it out. So I got this beauty piece of uh, white oak. It's about two feet long um, today, and I'm just gonna figure this thing out and get this axe head on it. So I'm just gonna uh, copy these lines, the profile of the head, onto this piece of white oak, and then I'll get carving. All right, so the thickness I need, it's about five eighths or so, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit fat. So I'm gonna bring this guy down to about three quarters to begin with and go from there. This is all I've used so far, um, just to get this thing into shape um, with a handsaw and then took them out with that. And the rest of the time, I'm just bringing it down with this rasp. I can see where I have to take some off. And this rasp was a good job of it. I can also look down the center of the ax head and see how tight it is or where I need to work it. But it's looking good so far. So I don't know if you can see that rub mark, but it's quite noticeable. It's, it's uh, the wood's all flattened out there. That's obviously something I have to take off. Uh, so you're just kind of looking for those all around the ax head and looking down the middle, making sure it's tight and the profile looks good. And you just keep taking off some until you got it. I'm not worried about putting padding between the handle and my vise here uh, because I've got a ton of material I'm gonna take off. Also, probably should put something on this ax head, uh, tape or something, just so you don't get cut. I'm not going to, but uh, this thing's pretty sharp. That's my ghetto spoke shave. All right, I got the rough shape, so I'm just gonna hack it off here. So this finer edge in the file is getting rid of all the little bumps. And it's getting real close to the finishing. Gonna be some sanding, and then I'll put top, put on some uh, pure linseed oil. I got some 150 grit. Looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna put a lanyard hole in it or not.
lots of linseed oil. All right, here's a size comparison. This is a little uh, Swedish Halta Force axe right beside it, and it's got a one pound head. Uh, cutting face on it is uh, two, looks like two and three quarters, three inch or so. And this hewing axe is four inch, four and a quarter. Uh, overall length of this Halta Force hatchet is 15 inches, and the little guy we made is 12 and 12 and 5 eighths of an inch long. So I'd say this one is probably a pound and a half or so. A little bit bigger, a little heavier, 